Okay, um, Gig Guy London, come back to you with more um, YouTube comments and feedback. Um, this time um, I'm going to raise a few points um, raised by um, Ergun. Um, so basically, in the comments, he said, That's bull crap. Um, I'm not an Uber driver, okay? Um, but I know it's bullshit. It's a bit of a generalization, you know? Um, yeah, he, he states that. He acknowledges that I've got a full-time job and I do Uber casually and I earn over a thousand pounds. If you watched my last video, um, when I um, replied to feedback from Ronnie, um, I actually went through my Uber driver app and showed my earnings going right back to 2014. So um, if that doesn't authenticate um, everything, then I don't know what does. I have a full-time job. Um, the reason why I'm not um, working full time for Uber and earning this thousand pound a month is because I'm in a well paid full time job. Um, but if I happen to be on minimum wage, then um, yeah, by all means, I would have left that job a long time ago and I'd have been driving full time on Uber. Um, but I don't really see myself sitting in the car all day, every day. Um, it's not my cup of tea. Um, you know what I mean, but. Yeah, I'll go in at the moment. Um, as I said, I'm saving for a deposit for a house and we're going to get that real soon. 2018. Yeah, watch out. Peace. Okay, um, but okay, back to Ergen. Um, and you basically said um, it's bull crap and I'm a liar. I'm touched. Okay, but fair point. You said um, if it was um, possible to earn that sort of money casually, why drivers pissing in Coke bottles and shitting in Tesco plastic bags. Now, um, referring, I think you're referring specifically to these guys who sit outside airports all day, um, sitting in residential areas with no toilet facilities around. Yeah, they probably are pissing and shitting. I think, it, I think personally think it's rancid. I mean, um, pissing in bottles and shitting in bags and leaving them on residential streets for people in that local community to find. I don't condone that behavior. I don't do it myself. Um, yeah, it's disgusting. Um, I don't, I don't pick up from airports. I drop off to airports, then I leave. Yeah, all that waiting game, it's not for me. It probably works for some for some other drivers, but it don't work for me. I don't do it. I mean, um, if I'm in Heathrow, I'll just move straight back in. I'm getting the job in no time, you know. Okay, I might have to wait like 15 minutes or something to kind of drive back into some kind of residential area or business area or high street or something. But yeah, I'll do that. I'll, yeah, it's a nice little break for me, you know? Okay, um, um, what else is stated? Uh, blah, 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 blah. You said, um, um, oh yeah, I basically said, yeah, what I've stated before, I earn between 400 and 800 pound a week on average. Sometimes I do a little bit more, sometimes I do a little bit less. Um, but this is around a PYAE job. I mean, if you was working solely for Uber, yeah, and you're in relatively good health, I mean, you can knock this out easily. Um, I will do another video pretty soon for Uber drivers um, showing my tips and tricks for earning a thousand pound a week and being healthy with it as well. Um, so hold tight for that, it's coming soon. It's on my to-do list. <coughs> um, Right, um, so Ergen's gone on to say that the fact that you said you earn 1K in one week casually is enough to know your ball s in. Um, I don't need to be a driver to know all this ball shite, um, but I know people who own their own vehicle and have a job and do Uber um, on a part-time or casual basis. He then goes on to say that um, after weekly expenses and blah, 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 um, yeah, I'm not talking about expenses. I'm talking about potential earnings, yeah? Um, expenses, as I said in my previous um, feedback uh, video, which you can watch, um, I said some people um, rent their vehicles, some people own their vehicles, some people pay finance, some people don't, blah, blah, blah. You know what I mean, everyone pays different insurance costs and got different cover up or whatever. Whatever the case is, yeah? I mean, some people live in different areas, the insurance is going to be a bit cheaper. Some people have more no claims bonus, their insurance is going to be cheaper. Um, there's, there's a whole 
bag of um, reasons. Everyone's got different outgoings, you know. Some people drive diesels, some people drive um, hybrid cars, some people got petrol cars, you know what I mean? So their, their running costs are gonna differ, yeah? So in my video, I didn't wanna go into outgoings, you know, because in too much depth, because it don't make no sense, you know? My outgoing is gonna be different from somebody else's. You know what I mean? I didn't mention it, yeah? And with good reason, yeah? I'm talking about potential earnings. I mean, with any job, you're gonna have outgoings. If you've got a PAYE job, you've got to get to that job in the mornings, yeah? So you've got to get up, probably get the bus or the train or drive to work. That all costs money, yeah? That's that outgoing, you know what I mean? If you're, if you're self-employed, yeah, you can claim that back. You claim back your mileage and so on and so forth. I'll do another video on, or you can claim back with your account and, and blah, 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 blah. Okay, um, um, so yeah, Ergen, this is your feedback follow-up video. Um, I'm not gonna do this for everybody, um, but if, you, if, your con if your comment is relevant, um, I will, um, and I think it's, if, if I think your comment's gonna be of use to other drivers or people potentially wanting to drive on the Uber platform, um, or just for general information, I'll do a follow-up video um, to support that. And this is the gig guy, London, signing out. Leave comments below. Peace.